King Serpent Pirate Crew, and you are watching Sal Show. And here we are today to perform our Sailing Circus Show. And to start off with, here's Minstrel Michael singing Sir William Gower. Let's enjoy the video! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sal's show. I am Minstrel Michael with the King Serpent Crew, and I'm here to entertain you with a song about a brave sea captain who comes to a bad end. I am a sailor boat, stout and strong. Knew a goodly vessel I knew belong. In his bed did lay when a dreadful voice to him did say, This night of me is the deep you'll be. So prepare yourselves and your company. The sky grew dark and the sea grew still. Old men were fearful and the air was chill. So will you grow? I killed a man that I held dear, all for the sake of his lady fair. For I was moved by cruel jealousy, so I now must face that which comes to me. You lash a timber close to my side. And throw me out on the waters wide And if I swim, then let me be And if I sink, then pray for me So we tied his head and we tied his feet And around his middle a winding sheet At every knot the sea did stir To ready for a murderer of a single wave that swept our ship from her stern to her bow and bore away Sir William Gower. Ahoy there! We are the King Serpent Pirate Crew and you are watching Sal's show! Up next, I'm going to give you the story of the tragedy that happened between me and my first mate, Oscar Andrews! <laughs> Let's enjoy the video! And now, it is my utmost pleasure to present to you the captain to whom I hold my liege, the fiercest pirate on the seven seas today and certain parts of Malden, Captain David Forkdong! <laughs> looking swell. And you as well. Well, it's good to be here on Sal's show. So, it's great to be back. Let me introduce myself for those of you who didn't know me from the past. My name is David Forktong, and I am a very well-known pirate captain. Now, today on Sal's show, we're going to share some stories of piracy. Minstrel Michael will entertain you with some wonderful sea ditties. And also, our good and lovely mate, Lady Josephine, is here as well. She'll be joining us a little bit later. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is David Forton, and yes, I am a very well-known pirate captain. Now, I didn't always start off that way. I started off my career as a member of a crew aboard a military vessel. And I served the captain of that ship, a man by the name of Captain William Warren, very, very faithfully. Well, as faithfully as you can get, because from his perspective, I didn't serve him too faithfully. And I will admit, Mr. Michael, it probably didn't help any that a member of the crew caught 
myself and the good captain's wife in some very interesting positions, if you know what I mean. Ah, oh, yes, and let me tell you, the captain's wife was living proof that treasure is not all gold and silver, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yes, I was caught with the good captain's wife, and it was given orders that I was to be executed by hanging on the morrow. Aye, so they shackled me up, took me, and locked me in the brig. Now the morrow came. The morrow came. And where was I? I was nowhere to be found. Well, even though I like to share some of the adventures of piracy, that is one story I keep close to my heart. It's my secret, and it's a secret I will not reveal. But what I will reveal is that years later, I was seen captaining my own ship and sailing that ship under a flag of piracy, mates! <laughs> and I made quite a name for myself, accumulated many members in my crew, including Minstrel Michael and Lady Josephine as well. And I accumulated much treasure. Now, treasure is not all gold and silver, if you know what I'm talking about. Yes, treasure comes in the form of females as well when you're a pirate, am I right? <laughs> but also, my treasure is also knowledge of other pirates. Now, we're going to share some adventures of piracy. Let me start off with a little adventure of me own. Now, the first lesson that you always learn in piracy is that you often will keep one eye in front, and the other eye watching over your shoulder. I learned that lesson the hard way with my first mate, a man by the name of Oscar Andrews. Now Oscar Andrews once upon a time was a pirate captain himself, and one day he was stuck in a military vessel. His plan was to take that vessel and turn it into his flagship. Now, at the same time he was attacking, there was another ship attacking in the other direction. And who was the captain of that ship? But me! <laughs> and we both attacked the ship at the same time! But then we got a little bit confused and thought, you know what? This has never happened before. But it's always good to share to get tasks done. So we agreed to share and attack and pillage the other ship. Makes sense, right? <laughs> well, we did just that. And we took over the ship and made it our flagship. And we were victorious and a huge celebration broke out right there on the deck of the ship. But unfortunately, mates, the celebration was short-lived. For you see, both Oscar Andrews and myself both decided we wanted to be the captains of the ship. Ah, ooh, nice touch. Well, so, suffice it to say, the battle then turned to each other and we fought back and forth and I beat him right there on the deck of the ship and I was named the new captain. I, right, but old Oscar Andrews, Oftentimes, we'll try to retake the captain's position quite unsuccessfully, I might add. Except for one time, he conducted a mutiny against me. And all the members of the crew took me, shackled me up, and placed me in the brig. And then they called for the lifeboat. And they took me out, placed me in that lifeboat. No supplies, provision, food, or water, not even any rum or grog. And they sent me adrift in the ocean. Now the plan was that they hoped that the sun, the sea, and whatever's swimming around in the water will be just enough to do me in in the end. I... Now there's a port known as Portagotor which is a somewhat safe haven for pirates. Now, Captain Andrews, as he commissioned himself quite inappropriately, set a course for Portagotor. Now, Portagotor was set up by another 
well-known pirate captain by the name of Gentleman Jason Williams. Gentleman Jason was now retired and he set up Puerto Gojo to be a safe haven for us pirates. So there is Captain Andrews and crew celebrating the night away at Williams Tavern Inn. When who should arrive in port unexpectedly but me? And all the music stopped. And I focused gaze on Oscar Andrews. And I approached him and I said, So, you thought you could leave me tied in that lifeboat and leave me to sail onward to the Dutchman? But he dropped to his knees and begged to be spared. And I looked him right in the eyes, and he back at me. And I drew me pistol, and I said, I didn't think you had it in you! <laughs> and retook the captain's position. And we all had a grand evening. Well, well, not everyone. Oscar Andrews was not too happy. But I agreed to demote him back down to first mate. Now, a lot of people question me on why I did that. There's another rule of piracy. And this is a rule of life, too, in some ways. The rule is that you always keep your friends close and your enemies closer, mates. Ha 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 ha! Well, as I promised, we're going to have a little bit of musical entertainment as well. Minstrel Michael, what say we introduce them to and teach them all here on Sal's show, let me remind you. You are watching Sal's show. And to learn more about the King Serpent crew, go to kingserpent.com.